And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Sejuani bringing this deck back after the 5-0 we got with it earlier in the week. Um, as you all know, this is this is probably my favorite deck to play. That's why I kind of labeled it um, at the time as my, my favorite deck. It's just a lot of fun. These are just my kind of cards. I like all these Bilgewater cards with Twisted Fate and the, the Steel cards. Big fan of Starlet Seer pumping up the allies in our deck. Y'all know how I've been on a Pool Shark kick. Been super impressed with Pool Shark recently. Especially with our deck that has so many two drops. You know, we have the 12 two mana cards that I'll just play Pool Shark on turn one. And if we hit one of these 12 two mana cards, awesome. We get to play it. You know, if we don't, oh well. Um, I mean, sometimes like we'll hit like Warning Shot or Omen Hawk that we can play also. Um, and then, yeah, just everything Everything is just kind of value stuff. You know, even Jaw Hunters, Yordle Grifter, Zap Spray Fin, everything's getting us value. And then these top end cards with Sejuani is just super powerful. And then same with Riptide Rex. Um, so, yeah, my, my kind of deck. All right, here we go. Let's play some Twisted Sejuani. We're going to go play... Uh, five games over in ranked again. Probably won't get another 5-0. That's real hard to do, but you never know. We're gonna we're gonna try our best and have some fun. And then after this, we'll have um, a Hecarim Thresh donation deck that's mostly all Shadow Isles, splashing Ionia. Be a fun one to play as well. All right, playing against Aggro. So we got turn one pool shark, good. Turn two, probably gonna bank the mana and then have Jaw Hunters into Twisted Fate. I think that 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 works pretty well. And so good chance I'm not playing the the pool shark card here on turn two, but that's okay. Oh wait, I guess I might as well attack. Hey Zaytek. Well, I guess we'll just go nab one card. Oh, I can't wait. Suppose we'll do that. My turn. Yeah, I understand I'm missing magic. I myself. Um, Blooding guts, golden glory. I really like this game and believe it in this game. Enjoy playing it. I have my orders. Okay, so we got Crimson Disciple out of there. That's good. I was a little worried about Transfusion, but Transfusion would still leave the Crimson Disciple at one health Nothing as far as Twisted Fate is concerned. Um, all right, so if, if I go red card, we would kill these two, take two, go to 16. And then they attack here. I don't have a great block. I probably should just gold card and stun this thing. Turn four rider that's attacking right away is not the easiest thing to defeat. Don't have a great plan for this Basil Scratter. Death doesn't scare me. Not done yet. We ride for Noxus. All right, I think we're gonna go Yordle Grifter. Ah, uh, it missed. I can't be too mad with my Allegiance card missing with their Allegiance card also missing. Nine. They still got a bunch of cards over there. Precious 
Maybe I should have gone Jaw Hunters and challenged their 6-2. I guess I could have done that. That was maybe the better play. Yeah, there's a good chance that was the better play. There's nothing to fear. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. It's a good chance that was the better play. Riptide Rex, what are you doing? This would be a good winter. Treasures of the ages for life. I can't play you yet. So I want to level up Twisted Fate. my plan right now. I'll try yeah, Bachi, I'd play it tomorrow. Not today. But I could play it first tomorrow. Tomorrow's also an early stream. I could do it, you know, any slot that you want tomorrow. But it'd be tomorrow. Direct damage is what my deck struggles against coming. the most. And you know, like we don't we don't have ways to stop direct damage. Um, I tried looking for some on their deck. I was hoping to draw the removal from them uh, with the with the bilge water cards. With those plunder cards, but didn't get any removal. You know, I was looking for like Noxion Fervor and that kind of stuff. So yeah, Decimate, then Atrocity does the last damage to me. Um, I need to, I could have saved three, three life if I would have gone with the Jaw Hunter's Challenge. That's what I needed to do. These Nox attacks are pretty strong, though. They can be, you know, they they can be difficult to beat, especially with Bacillus Grider on Curve. That's the scariest card. I have my orders. You've never seen come. We may go 0 and 5. That's possible. Today is. Today's been really rough. With the game. So you never know. I have the best job. Letting gets golden glory. Let's do this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that's that's their site for their their news things. I'm not sure when they said that event pass comes. It's it's in one of those. I think 
to the second one. The second thing there that says the season of fortune. I want to look through that. That's where. That's where you'll find it. Yeah, I bet Whirling Death's just a, good, a pretty good card in, the, in their attack. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. So I think I need to, like, I want to play Twisted Fate on their turn to go Twisted Fate Gold Card on their turn. Especially if they play like a Basilisk Rider or something like that. So that's why I'm not going Twisted Fate right now on my turn. Okay, so there we go. So that's the, the Gauntlet deck for tomorrow. Cool, cool. All right, yeah, I'll play that deck tomorrow. Probably do it in early time slot. We'll probably just do it like first tomorrow. Make sure we get it in before gauntlets go away, even though we should shouldn't have any problem with that. Never lost a pair of we'll play one. Okay, so yeah, labs come in patch 1-5, and then events 1-6 and 1-7. Cool, cool. I know I'm blocking with Twisted Fate instead of Yordle Grifter, but it's just important to you know keep that life total high. Um, Yordle Grifter has three health as far as against overwhelm units. Time for the money makers. All right, so they're leveling up Draven. We're gonna be using Sedgwani to take down Draven. That's my plan. And we got a lot of Sedgwanis. Fear of the North could be a good card though. Could be a good card for us. And the other thing about clearing out the Twisted Fate is then we get to unlock our other one as far as more gold cards go. Which could be beneficial. Rex! Get that resub. Thank you, Rex. Leveling up. Love it. Our first sub of the day. Oh, opponent's been playing this slow. Enough stalling. Yeah, enough stalling.
Okay. And now we'll have... We can block Draven and have Fear of the North. If need be. Do wish we'd have some kind of removal here. Oh, let's see what they do. Yeah, it's like they're definitely playing some spinning axes, so I want to see what they do with that. Take three, go down to six. This game's certainly not over with us being at six, them having that Legion Grenadier. Game is certainly not over. I don't want to kill the Grenadier either, because then Decimate kills me. It's like if I go Twisted Fate red card, for example. Yeah, I've kind of retired from Magic, Mark. Enjoy this game more. Doesn't give me the biggest things. Long ways away from being deep. You gotta trust your instincts. have decimate please don't I'm seeing if we found like a, a removal spell for something like a like an auction fervor but we didn't this will allow me to put you know, challenge the Legion Drummer and put it on the side. Yeah. Kirby Rex, I, I feel like this is a good long-term, though. I feel feel like this is a good uh, long-term investment. But, yeah, I've been... Visitation to tell. A little surprised with the the viewing numbers so far. No. Oh. No grenadiers though, right? Ah, oh, darn it! There is a grenadier over there. All right. Well, then I'm just attacking with the spray fin now. to be able to kill my own units. That doesn't help. Like this game's over. Man. Just have so many cards and we just can't... can't win.
kind of story of today. I just I have so many cards and I just can't win. This is getting really frustrating. No matter what I do, I just can't win. Thank you, Mark. Okay, I'm... <clears throat> I need to spend some time building anti-Noxus decks, don't I? It is getting uh, a little silly how much we're playing against Noxus. The deck we're the, the deck we're playing up next, your deck combo, is anti Noxus. Yeah, I'm trying not to let the tilt get to me. It's it's rough though. I mean, one in six with these these two decks. Uh, if they don't break, burn. Quite frustrating. Oh, we finally got a fervor from them. That was good. This is the first, yeah, this is <clears throat> third game, first time we see Make It Rain. You know, with all the cards that we've drawn, we've first time we see Make It Rain. getting some luck this time. No, elusives are not faster than Noxus. Yeah, nice build. Uh, all you have to do is click on the, the ties down in the bottom left, and you click on, you know, there's different rewards. One of them's donation deck. You just click on that. And then put either a link to the deck or the deck code, and maybe tell me a little bit about it. You know, you have you have like some room to to write descriptions and stuff, and then uh, that's it. So as easy as that to redeem the donation deck. I'll handle this myself. Drifter missed again. If this doesn't kill me, we have a good chance. This doesn't kill me. Looks like it kills me. Seriously, no matter what we do. Mason, 
see that coming. I don't know what's supposed to do different. I just can't, I can't kill Basilisk Rider. Basilisk Rider just keeps killing me every single game. I can't kill that card. That's that's been the problem. I can't kill Basilisk Rider. Back alley barkeep is is in uh, Pulto Burns on. I can't play that in this deck. Conley Tavern Keeper? Yeah, I mean, I guess we could play it. it. Conley Tavern Keeper would be good for this matchup. It just... I just hate Conley Tavern Keeper. It's not good against anything else, but it is good in this matchup. I would play it over Zap Spray Fit, not Yordle Grifter. Well, I guess, I mean, I guess it would be another failure card, so it would hurt Yordle Grifter. Watch this. New bloco. I'm going. I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Hope you're doing good. I have been hey, at least not Basilisk Rider for once. That's good. Let's do this. And we got these little pool sharks that can do some blocking. That was a Mega Rain game. Them having a double one drop that make it rain cleared up. Alright, so five for five playing against Noxus every single game. <laughs> five for five against Noxus. True. Pool Shark's awesome. It does kind of make sense, though, to, you know, we, we play Noxus, we, like, lose all of our games, and then we play against Noxus, and then lose all of our games. That's, that's how life goes. Yeah, I just want to play Starless here this turn. I'm going to just attack for one and just make sure to turn on the Plunder for Sejuani. I'm not going to cast Pilfer Goods, though. We're going to play Starless here. Yeah, um, mid-range options for Noxus and Elusives. I think that um, Demacia is a really good region to be in against these Noxus decks, especially with like Radiant Guardian and stuff. I like the, the Shen Lux that we played earlier. For example, I like that against Noxus. Be a good 
I'd rather play Omen Hawk than Crimson Disciple. We can play one of those two. Pump something else up. I'm supposed to do the 6-2 and then if they attack with Darius I block Darius because I'd rather I'd rather block Darius than block the 6-2 Yeah, I like that Shunlock stuck a lot. Make the Empire proud. I would have done better with it. I think I could have. Closed. So we're only three out of five as far as leveling up Sejuani. They don't know about this warning shot in hand. This wasn't something that that was created by like a Yordle Grifter. They don't know about that card. We have stole we have stolen a lot of harrowings, haven't we? We have stolen a lot of harrowings. At least, at least three, maybe four different games we've stolen the arrowing. Sejuani is a play trigger. Yeah, it's a play trigger. We don't get to Frostbite by just casting Sejuani. Or by, by having Sejuani come in with Harrowing. This could be game. This could be game over. As far as us losing. So I can't can't really block these fearsomes very well. Let's see what you can do. You're bluffing. Yeah, I mean, I'm dead. It's the most I can block. It's a bad day for sure. So, guess our deck's a little weak to the Noxus deck, I guess. I suppose um, they had tons and tons of Basilisk Riders. Uh, that was not not something that we had that that often. We had tons of Basilisk Riders, and I just couldn't handle Basilisk Rider. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know what else to say. It's a bad day. That's all I got. 
All right. Um, anyway, thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you for the next video.